All right, so yesterday I got stuck in a bit of a storm. Today I'm gonna go grab lunch. Let's go. All right, so welcome back. I think I might have figured the microphone out a little bit. I did some moving. You better not let that dog kiss my fucking front porch. I got stuck in a storm yesterday on the way home that produced, I believe they said one or two tornadoes. Um, took down trees and power poles and everything for a while, so a few different cities. So it was pretty bad. I ended up ducking under a bridge for a little bit waiting for the the front of the storm to pass and then by the time I got home it was already sunny again I can barely it's wind is look at that look at the look at it coming through here holy shit. Come on over, buddy. What's going on? Well, I guess he doesn't want to stop. Look at that. Holy. Hey, look at it this way. It's a free bike wash, kind of. I was, I was rubbing it down. Rub it down. down, down, down. What do I want for lunch? I was telling my buddies I want to go to Checkers. Checkers has the best damn cheeseburgers ever. My buddies don't agree with me. But I think they do. So I think I'm going to head to Checkers. But I'm going to go the back route. The good old back way. Get me a burger, then come back, eat those. Um, what else do I got to do? I don't know. I guess I could change the oil today if need be. I want to make a video of it though because I've never changed it on this bike before. The other thing I want to talk about is swag. As you see, I have... Or should I go the front way? Back way? Damn, I should have went that way. This light's going to take forever. As you can see, I have a very clean windshield other than my blue line here. But I have a new bike and an entirely empty windshield that I need some of your decals on. So if you have any decals, feel free to send them. Is that a moped? What the hell is that guy riding? Oh, hello. oh, he's on a little Vespa. How cute. So I'm going about, uh, I don't know, five to five miles out of my way to go to Checkers. But it's to get a nice little ride. There's gonna be a billion bikes around here this weekend being um, Rolling Thunders last year after 30 years, so there's gonna be bikes everywhere. And since I won't be home, I figured I'd go for my uh, ride uh, today, get me some lunch. And enjoy the beautifulness. That is not that storm I was stuck in yesterday. If you have, if you're a vlogger and you have a decal, hit me up. I'll give you my address. I would love to have it on the old front of the old bike here, on the old windshield. If you're a company and would like me to try out your product, feel free to send it to me also. Anything motorcycle related or fishing or golfing. I do all those as you can see Clothing 5-4 clothing used to send me stuff. This is definitely the long long way To the checkers But like I said, it's beautiful out. I used to take my Daytona down this road a lot faster But as the bikes get bigger and more comfortable and slower you start to enjoy the scenery a lot more Except for these rocks in the middle of the road. This place up here on the hill is beautiful. It's been for sale for years. Look at that. 
been for sale for years. Beautiful. Yeah, the uh, community I live in, it's a gated community. I hate it. Um, I was sitting outside last night with a couple buddies around the little fire pit. Uh, and the old policeman shows up. Neighbors done called the cops on us. Said we were being too loud. The officer laughed and actually said, I, I got no problem with it. I couldn't hear the music or anything. I could hear you guys laugh every now and then. And uh, he was like, just gonna uh, keep it down. So we stayed out there till 1.30 in the morning, drinking beer, being grown-ups, and trying not to laugh. This morning, I was told that my buddy's wife picked up about 30 beer cans from the neighbor's yard. I guess at some point we just started throwing them over there. No idea, but hey, I didn't throw any of them. Oh, there's this Ford up here for sale. I might have to stop on the way back and check it out. It's an, I want to say it's a 70s uh, 250. Look at that thing. I'll look on the way back. And here's the Walmart that normally takes about seven minutes to get to and it just took me 20. I need to get oil so I can go on this side I guess and then go down to checkers and get my oh my oh life flight landing I don't know you can't pick it up on the camera but landing at the hospital that's not good how ironic That's the first time I've actually locked the ignition on this thing. Get in there. All right, I'll be right back. Wait for me. All right, we're back. Got the oil. Better yet, two double cheeseburgers from the best place ever. Checkers. So, I found a few things out about my bike that I did not realize. This bike only takes two quarts of oil. I think two and a half it said. My Daytona even took more than that. I guess it did have one more cylinder. This is, this is only a two cylinder, so. Daytona took three and a half to almost four. Oh, I gotta put my chin strap on. It's the small things you forget when you're trying to make a video. Like a chin strap. Now let's go. See, this is the best part of that Checkers burger is you don't eat it right away. You let that piece congeal. Get, get the mayonnaise and ketchup and all that stuff. Gooey, mixed up amongst it. Oh, it's so good. Checkers, if you would like to sponsor somebody, here I go. And you have the best fries ever, too, by the way. I just didn't feel like fries today since I'm eating two burgers. This dad bod isn't going to maintain itself. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful day out here. Oh. It is by far my favorite burger in my area and we got some good burger joints around here don't ask me why i just love it if you guys want to send me some decals i'm looking forward to getting some uh, i need to order some more i used to make my own i used to have my own decal decal business but i um but i stopped it i didn't promote it like i needed to i wasted a lot of time and money on it so I'll just have to create a new design, send it in somewhere, and get me like a thousand decals for like 20 bucks. There's a lot of like sticker mule. Let's do that. Let's stop and look at this Ford real quick while my, while my burgers are congealing. Oh, it's F-150. It went 10 grand or best offer. I hope you don't consider this trespassing, buddy. It's uh, call Carolyn. 
at 571-839-7808. It's a 460, 76. Doesn't look bad. Open countries. 37, 14 and a half, 15. Wonder if that's a big enough tack light. Oh. I mean, it looks clean. Looks good. I don't see much, I don't see any rust on it, really. They seem to have been running it, which is great. Wicked Pissa. I like it. Interior is clean, too. Shit, this might be a 10 grand truck. Well, if you guys want to look at it, you know what the number is. It's nice looking. It's clean. I didn't see any rust on it. Oh, so this place. Let's see what this place is. I believe this is Warrior Retreat. And it was created for the Wounded Warriors. Uh, I think that's what the sign says. Bull Run. Yeah, Bull Run Warrior Retreat. I'll put a um, link in the description below so you guys can check it out. It's a beautiful place. If I remember correctly, it's a place for wounded warriors to be able to come for the weekend or whatever uh, with their families to basically just get away. They have cottages and stuff, I believe. Um, like I said, I remember reading up about it and I knew it was back here. I just didn't know. It was, I thought it was that one. I just hadn't been up there. Yeah, warrior retreat at Bull Run. There's a sign for it. Um, but it's a great thing. Great thing. I'll put a link below. Dude, you're all on the wrong side of the fucking road and shit. The fuck you stupid motherfucker. And that's how people get killed. Dumbasses like that. So yeah, check out the link below for the warrior uh, retreat at Bull Run. It's a great place that helps out a lot of our wounded and uh, warriors who allow me and you and whoever else is watching this do basically whatever the hell we want to do in America. allows us the freedoms to do what we want to do create these vlogs talk shit about people without fear of persecution and this week coming up is going to be a big week for me and my family my oldest son alex he might have been in some of the older videos he's uh actually coming to live with us i mean it's only taken 17 years for him to decide that but hey whatever it's never too late. One o'clock. I can't believe how beautiful it is today and I did not go golfing. Oh, damn the luck. Thanks for watching this short vlog. Like I said, send me some decals. I got a whole windscreen here that I need some decals on. Uh, if you want to send me some goods, the review or whatever, well, shoot me a DM. I'll do that too. Only problem with that is I give honest opinions. Don't expect me to say that what you have is the best in the world if it's not. I am honest about my opinions. If it's some garbage, I will tell you it's some garbage.